A violent crash. Single car crash, vehicle into a uh, tree. Shakes the entire neighborhood, but not as much as what happens when people stop to help. It just sounds like a cannon going off. It just, it almost sounded like a bomb going off when it hit the tree. Danny Dixon, who only spoke to us, was working on a construction project less than a block away when he heard the crash. I mean, it's, it scared us, honestly, because we didn't know what was going on. And we spun around and seen the car wrapped around the tree. Dixon and others ran to the scene, pulling the driver out of the vehicle. Then the child, by sheer coincidence, at that moment, world-renowned UC emergency room doctor Jay Johannigman arrives and begins to work on the child. He was the one who was actually able to uh, render aid to the uh, to, to the juvenile. But Dixon says the driver didn't stay to help or show concern. Instead, he says the man walked away. And that's not the really strange part. Dixon says as a woman approached to help, the driver then exposed himself to her. I mean, he just kind of kept walking towards her. And once she got in the car and shut the door, he took off up the sidewalk towards Gilbert Avenue. Police say the driver is Adriel Holloway. Dixon followed Holloway, telling 911 operators where he was until officers arrived. Holloway was put in an ambulance and taken to UC Hospital. The 10-year-old boy is Ariante Holloway. Now the investigation continues to determine the cause of the crash and of the unusual behavior. And police say extreme speed and impairment appear to be factors in the crash. Reporting live, Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5. Brian, did the driver say anything to witnesses that might explain this bizarre behavior? Witnesses we talked to, Lisa, say they said nothing. He said nothing to them. He said nothing to police when they stopped him. They used the word delirious to describe this driver. Lisa? Brian.